Hello my lovelies, welcome, welcome, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, hi, my name is Mary and I give you an extra warm welcome. I would love it if you could click the subscribe button if you haven't already. And if you're a returning viewer, thank you so much for coming back. I appreciate you more than you know. For today's video, I'm going to feature beauty items that I influenced you, my subscribers and followers on Instagram, to purchase and that you actually ended up loving. I did a video, which I'm pretty sure it's going to go up before this one, of makeup items I was influenced into purchasing and absolutely adore. So I figured let's flip the script and hear from my audience. So if that sounds like a video you would love to see, then just go ahead and keep on watching. All right, my lovelies, hair is pulled back and face is nice and primed. I went in to the Ilia Face Milk, the Merit Beauty oil primer situation. <laughs> and for the T-Zone, I went into my Gucci Mattifying Primer. So the first thing I'm going to mention, and I'll post pictures of whoever gave me the answers um, because I did post both on my Instagram stories and on my community tab here on YouTube. And if you answer, thank you so much. Honestly, when I have ideas like these and you send your responses, it really does help me out in actually being able to do the video. So thank you so much. Okay, Gabby Marroquin Rosales, Ease Drop Skin Tint from Fenty Beauty. I actually just used my Fenty Beauty Skin Tint when I reviewed some new makeup releases. I do enjoy this product. I would say if you have really dry skin, just make sure to really prep it. Um, right now I'm mixing shade 10 and shade eight. I'm a tiny bit too, like this is a, just the slightest bit too light. I honestly should have gotten shade number nine for my winter shade, but it's fine because I could just mix these two together. Shade 10 is my winter, is my summer shade and right now it's just a tiny bit too dark so i'm just mixing the two which i'm perfectly fine with but this is a really good product i decided not to try the stick eavesdrop skin tint uh I, yeah i just didn't feel like i wanted to honestly i mean i have so much makeup that i just don't need to buy any more makeup <laughs> But yeah, it makes me happy to hear that you're loving this. It truly is such a good product. I'm going to use my Makeup Forever foundation brush. Okay, here is what my base is looking like. I went in with cream products. So the LYS cream bronzer, the Westman Atelier cream contour, and the e.l.f. Uh, Camo liquid blush. Nobody mentioned any of those products. Um, and then I did go in into the Huda Beauty Easy Bake Pressed Powder for my under eyes. That is mentioned as one of the items, but I'll go ahead and mention that one when I use the other product that was mentioned in that response. Next is from Anaisa Bell 4323 Anything Chanel. Which makes me so glad because I would hate for you to purchase something from such an expensive brand and then you not end up enjoying it. <laughs> I'm using the Chanel Loose Powder in the shade 20. This is actually a really good powder. I enjoy this a tiny bit more when it's not super warm outside because it does not contain my oils super amazingly in my t-zone but right now during winter i've really been enjoying this powder it literally leaves my skin looking so blurring and just smooth beautiful absolutely beautiful this is the sonia g enoch e brush Okay, the next one is going to include two different people. The first one is from Catherine Chung, 6031. Hi, Mary. From me, it was the Melt Fatally Yours palette. After watching your tutorial, I realized that the colors can be applied in a diffused, elegant, and soft way with contrast. Leave spaces with no eyeshadow in parentheses or those little brackets. Thank you for that. Yes. I think that is my absolute favorite way <clears throat> of using this Bailey Sarian palette from Melt. It's an all matte palette and yeah, I just love leaving 
negative spaces where there's absolutely no eyeshadow. I just think it looks beautiful. And the other one is from Savannah Gorman. Gorman? <laughs> 3487. Apologies if I butchered that. The Tom Ford Body Heat Eye Quad and the Gucci Blush. I am absolutely in love with those purchases. Beautiful, awesome, so happy. So for today, I'm going to use the Fatally Yours Bailey Serian Palette and the Tom Ford Body Heat Eye Quad. And then once I go in with bronzer, which was one of the items sent to me as a response. Then I'll go ahead and jump in to the Gucci blush, which Savannah is loving. I have a couple. I'm sure I can pick just one. <laughs> okay, so in case you forgot or aren't sure what I'm talking about, this is Body Heat from Tom Ford. So pretty. And these are the wet to dry formula. So you can use these as is, or you can wet it to just intensify it a tiny bit more. And then here is the Bailey Seri and Fatally Yours. So I think I already have my eyes primed. I'm going to jump in to the Tom Ford first, just because I feel like this formula is a tiny bit on the softer side. Um, let's go in with, let's do this one here. And this is the N13 from BK Beauty and Nikila Rose. I'm going to start in near the outer corner. See how it looks darkish in the pan, but once you apply it, it's like a very soft, silky kind of formula. Okay, now I'm going to jump into the Fady Lee Yours and I'm going to jump into this shade beautiful burgundy. This is a crease pro from Sonia G. It's going to go in near the outer corner. Tiny bit on the lower lash line. Okay, my dumb butt forgot to press record. <laughs> I just went in to some NYX glitter glue and I went into this corner shade all over my lid. And then I used the brush that I used for that purple just to kind of blend the edges together. All right, my lovelies, this is what we're looking like so far. I did go in to a matte, like light nude shade for my inner corner. I didn't want to put any shimmer in there. But this next one is from my friend Audrey Michelle Makeup. So Rot Bronzer and the Huda Beauty Press Powder, which I already used the Huda Beauty Press Powder for my under eyes. And the Surat Bronzer. This is what she's talking about right here. It does come in a little pouch. And don't you worry, once I'm done with powder bronzer, I will go into a Gucci blush, of course. I have received PR from Surratt in the past. I think the last package I received from them was the concealer, which I do really enjoy. I think it's a fabulous formula. But when this was launched, I told myself I need to grab that and try it out. <laughs> it's the Artistique bronzer and I purchased the shade Soleil Du. Unfortunately, there's only two shades available. I wish they would change that. You can definitely tell that I've used this. The formula is very silky. It's almost like a powder to cream kind of formula. It's just, it's such a beautiful, beautiful formula. I enjoy the shade. I hope they add to this as far as the shade range goes. I don't think two is enough. I don't think three is enough. Four, you're cutting it close, but I think between five and six shades is kind of decent. We're gonna use this Wayne Goss F1 brush. I love this brush for powder bronzer. It's my favorite. But see how it's a very natural kind of tone and it's just so soft, silky, smooth, blends out like a dream. It's just, it's gorgeous. It truly is. All right, my lovelies, now we're going to jump into some Chanel blush. I decided not to use the Eye and Face palette. I've used that more than this blush right here, which is the blush Harmony. And I have the shade 798 Beige Rosé et Mauve. And it's this one. The other one looked more like a orangey fall, beautiful, just dark burnt orange. 
but this one I do really enjoy. I'm gonna use this Sonia G Soft Cheek. I've used this blush a lot less than the Eye and Face palette. I almost purchased a blush of the winter collection, but I told myself not to because I don't need to. I have enough makeup and to just enjoy the Chanel blushes that I do have. So pretty, so happy that the luxury items I'm recommending you're enjoying because I would hate to hear someone say that I recommended something pretty expensive and they don't enjoy it, which I'm sure has happened. I just feel like whenever you watch reviews, you really need to take a lot into consideration the skin type and if the makeup style of the person who's reviewing the product matches your makeup style, you know? All right, my lovelies, I am back and as you could tell eyebrows are done mascara is on <laughs> i went into the anastasia beverly hills brow Wiz pencil i think that's what it's called the brow pencil the popular one that's been around for 10 plus years that one and then i did go in to the dominique cosmetics brow gel i'm honestly just trying to finish that brow gel off because uh yeah I don't like it. It just, it does not keep my brows in place. They look fabulous right now, but as soon as I like, say I take my sweater off or do something, they move. Uh, mascara, I went into the Max Stack and the What's Up Beauty Mascara. Both of those are this close to being completely done and they're close to their expiration date. So sometimes they do flake just a tiny bit, but I'm trying to finish them off as much as I can before I open up a new one or finish off. What other one do I have? I think I just have the YSL little mini sample. I'm trying to use that makeup over here, you know? <laughs> okay, just two more items left and I do have to say so myself, but my makeup is looking so good. Okay, Ms. Regina Stabin, the RCMA Summer Lights Illuminating Balm in Day Break. Oh my gosh, I am so, so happy that I at least got someone to try this because this is such an underrated product. It is so good. I know Chanel came out with something similar to this. I don't even know if it even came to the US ever. But when I saw that RCMA was dropping this, I told myself I needed to check it out. And I'm glad I did. I bought this along with the cream bronzer that they came out with. I feel like RCMA is such an underrated brand. It used to be talked about so much. And then now it's like crickets, but it's still such a good brand. Here is what the product looks like. Do you see that? The formula is so good. I'm already powdered and I'm gonna go in with this. This is the BK Beauty 113. This is the only brush that I can use for cream highlights. All of the other brushes I have tried to use, they don't work. But let me show you just how, do you see that? Oh my goodness, that is so pretty. And you can make it super natural or you can amp it up and add a tiny bit more, but you already know how I enjoy my highlight. I like a more like illuminated from within type of highlight. I am so glad, Regina, that you purchased this and you absolutely love it. What shade do I have? I have Daybreak. I think they only came out with two or three shades. I cannot remember, but it's so good. Okay, highlighter is looking so good. One more. Oh, and I did use for my brow bone the RCMA cream highlight. Last but certainly not least from Mrs. JRM and Tasha Denona Clio Lip Liner. I mean, I'm sure you are all so tired of hearing me talk about this lip liner, but it's so, the shade, it's the shade. The Natasha Denona formula is actually amazing and it lasts all day. I'm telling you, it lasts all day. This particular shade, it's my favorite. It's my number one favorite lip liner. I don't know if anything's gonna be replacing it, but so far nothing has. So <laughs> let me go in with this little lip liner. I mean, do you see that? You see that? If you are my skin tone or lighter, I think you would love 
this tone. I'm going to jump into this little mini Gucci lipstick that I got for free. They met in Argentina. It's the name of the shade. It's like a satin matte. Honestly feels like a powder kiss formula. Figured it would go well with this lip liner. All right, my lovelies, here is the full completed makeup using some beauty items that I influenced you into purchasing and you ended up absolutely loving. It honestly warms my heart, makes me so happy. Anytime I get a comment or a message letting me know that you loved a product that I recommended, truly, it's... It's amazing. Thank you so much for those of you who participated. I appreciate you all so, so much. You are the real MVP. You are the reason why I was able to do this video. So thank you, thank you, thank you. I plan on including you all in videos more often. I feel like, I don't know, that just helps us connect a tiny bit more, my audience and myself. Let me know what you think and let me know if you have any ideas. I'm thinking maybe doing a series where you all choose what two palettes I combine because never in a million years would I have thought to combine the Melt palette and this Tom Ford. And this eye look is absolutely gorgeous. Okay, well, that's going to be it for this video. Again, thank you so much for being here. All the comments, all the likes. If you use my links to shop, it truly does mean the world to me. Even if you just comment with an emoji that helps my videos with the algorithm and whatnot, and any purchases that you do make through my links, all of that money goes back into the channel. So I appreciate every single one of you. With that being said, do not forget to give the video a big thumbs up. And also don't forget to hit the subscribe subscribe button if you haven't already and I will see you all on the next video. Bye!